The pineal gland is an area in our brain that has many diverse functions, but we're going to be concerned with the pineal gland producing hormones, specifically melatonin. Now the pineal gland in this cross section of the brain is located right over here. So this tiny red area represents the pineal gland. It's very small, but it has a very important function. So essentially the pineal gland, it uh, works with our ocular system. So it essentially works with the system of our eyes to detect low light levels or when it's darkness. During low light levels or darkness, the pineal gland is triggered to produce melatonin. And we can associate melatonin with sleepiness. So when melatonin is produced, that um, informs our body that it's time to go to bed. So it essentially, it helps maintain our circadian rhythm. Whenever there are high light levels or during the daytime, melatonin will not be produced. So that tells our body that we don't need to go to bed right now because um, it's the daytime, we wanna be functioning. But as soon as those light levels uh, decrease or it's darkness, melatonin is produced and that tells our body to go to bed and it's time to re rest and rejuvenate. Now we can imagine that if we're spending too much time, let's say on our computer or our phone, that's gonna confuse our ocular uh, and pineal gland system because that's going to tell us that it's still daytime because we're still receiving so much light and then that melatonin isn't being produced so that might keep us up late at night and we may find it hard to go to bed or for example uh, let's say when we're traveling we often experience jet lag because our body it has that circadian rhythm we're used to going to bed at a certain time and waking up at a certain time but if we're in a foreign country where the daylight time and the low light darkness time are different that will confuse our pineal gland and our ocular system and that production of melatonin is a little disrupted uh, but over time we actually adjust to being in that new foreign area because the low light levels and the brighter light levels eventually uh, pass on through our ocular and pineal system and uh, our body is able to regulate when to go to bed and when not to go to bed so the essential takeaway from this video is that the pineal gland will produce melatonin in times of low light levels, which will cause us to go to bed and rest and rejuvenate.